So let's take a look at the top of a LinkedIn profile and how we can optimize it to get found and build our credibility. The first thing that we want to take a look at is the headline. By default, LinkedIn will generate a headline for you and it uses your current job title and your current company name. Now, if you work for a company that's really well known, you may want to leave your company name in your headline. And if your current job title is relevant to the type of role you're targeting, the headline that LinkedIn generates could actually be useful to you. If you're making a transition, you definitely want to change your headline. And even if you're staying in the same field or same type of role, I think you want to modify your headline to make it stronger. You may recall a little bit earlier in this training, I talked about the headline is one of the places that you want to have your keywords. So let's take a look at my headline as an example. If I was targeting that job advertisement that we looked at, I definitely want to have my title, career coach and career counselor in it. And I've actually added a few other keywords that were in that ad, resumes, job search, and interviews. I would have added networking to this, but it didn't fit. The headline gives you 120 characters. So I picked what I felt would be most relevant. I'm well known for the career clarity and career transitions, career changes. So I've also added those keywords into my headline. And you wanna come up with a strategic headline as well. Include your current title if it's relevant and be strategic about the skills that you currently have that potential employers are looking for. Now, I understand if you're currently working, some of these strategies you're just not going to be able to implement on your LinkedIn profile. You'll have to pick and choose what feels appropriate and safe for you to do. If I was an operations professional and I was looking to transition to a career coach, I would do this for my headline. I'd put operations professional and then I'd put some of those keywords in my headline, hiring, recruiting, orientation, interviewing, mentoring, coaching. These are things that operations managers do that are relevant to, in this case, my potential target career services manager role. And how do you change the headline? Click on the pencil and add your headline here. You have a few other options here as well. You can select your current position. You can choose whether you want to show your education information in your intro which can make a lot of sense if you have a really relevant degree. Two other pieces of information that you can add here that are really important. One is your quote unquote current location. In this case, I've added my New York City uh, area and zip code. Now, if I wanted to look for a job in Denver, I would actually change this to Denver and enter a Denver zip code. The reason I would do that is because recruiters in Denver are searching for people who are in that area. If I have New York City and they're searching on Denver and I want to be in Denver, my profile will never get found. So set your geographic location to the location where you want to work. Again, I recognize if you have a job in New York City and there's a chance that your colleagues or boss will be looking at your profile, you probably don't want to set it to another geographic area. And then the same strategy applies to the last setting here, which is industry. If I was in a different industry, but wanted to get into the coaching industry, I would check off coaching here. So select the industry that you want to work in, that you're targeting. So it gives you opportunity to get found by recruiters. Another thing that's really important to do at the top of your profile is to make sure that your contact information is complete. A lot of people actually forget to do this or they put some contact information in there that's accurate at the current time and then a decade later, it's no longer accurate and they forget to change it. So make sure your contact information is completed and up to date. Click on the pencil to edit it. Depending on your situation, it's unlikely you would have a website URL for your contact information. Scrolling down, you'd enter your contact information, your phone number, and address. Another important part of the profile is your headshot. I highly recommend including a headshot on your profile. Research shows that recruiters are seven times more likely to open a profile that has a photo, a headshot, than one that doesn't. I recommend using a headshot that's relevant to your target audience. If you're 
targeting a very formal, very professional business, then I would have a headshot that is much more professional. If you're targeting a role in the technology field, a startup that has a reputation of being much more casual and relaxed, I'd go with a much more casual and relaxed headshot. So there's no one right type of photo. You want to think about who your audience is and what they are looking for. And I will add one more thing. People want to hire people that they're going to enjoy working with. So it's important to use an image that helps people see that you're likable, that you, come, you have a smile on your face and, okay, this is the kind of person that looks friendly and that I may want to work with. Another thing that you can do on your LinkedIn profile in this section is to put a background photo. So here you can see I have some images of uh, some of my products, my company name, my tagline. Simply click up here. You can see it has a recommended size. LinkedIn has default background images that you can choose from. You can also create your own. I recommend Canva. It's a free graphic design program that's really easy. 